Let's do problem number 21. Find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line 2x minus 3y equals 7. So 2x minus 3y equals 7. So our line has to be perpendicular to this line. And that passes through the point 1 comma 4. Write the answer in slope intercept form. Okay, so they give us a point 1 comma 4. So we already have a point, we just need to find the slope. We're told that our line is perpendicular to this line. That means that the slope of our line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of this line. So the very first step in this problem is to take this equation and solve for y. To do that, we'll start by subtracting 2x from both sides. So minus 2x, minus 2x. These cancel, so we get minus 3y equals minus 2x plus 7. Then to finish solving for y, we'll divide both sides by negative 3. So negative 3, negative 3. And you can divide each little piece by negative 3. It's a little bit easier, skipping a step. So y is equal to, let's see, negative over negative is positive. So you get 2 thirds x. That's the same thing, right? 2x over 3 is the same thing as 2 thirds x. And then minus 7 thirds. Okay, so our line is perpendicular to this line. The slope of this line is 2 thirds. It's in the form mx plus b. So our slope, because it says perpendicular in the problem, is negative 3 over 2. So it's the negative recipro reciprocal. You flip it and you put a negative. So now we're going to use our formula. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is called the point-slope formula, okay? And then our point here was 1 comma 4. So that's our x1 and our y1. And then we just plug them into this equation. So this is y minus 4 equals, and then m is negative 3 halves. And then we have x minus 1. Good stuff. Now you could just distribute the negative 3 halves. Um, but then you have to deal with fractions. Uh, one way that sometimes people like doing this is to get rid of the fractions first. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to eliminate the fractions. So on the left-hand side, we would get 2y. 2 times y is 2y. And then 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And then here the 2's cancel. And we can distribute the negative 3. So we get negative 3x. And then negative 3 and negative 1 is positive 3. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe add the 8 to both sides now. We're solving for y. So plus 8, plus 8. These cancel, so we get 2y equals negative 3x plus 11. And to finish, just divide everything by 2. So boom, boom, boom. So we get y equals negative 3 halves x plus 11 over 2. And I hope it's one of the choices. Let's see. Um, Negative 3 halves x plus 11 over 2. Yep, it's over here. So the answer in this case would be D. That's it.